Today, we're sitting down with our awesome Mobile Legend community member, Nick, who is a local hardworking truck driver in the US and shares a passion for Mobile Legend esports. My friend told me if you drive on a highway and you see a like nice 16 wheelers on the, on the side, and if you do like this, they will honk for you. Is that is that true or is, is it a myth? Yes, sir, they will. We enjoy doing stuff like that because even the kids could be a future trucker because that's what's going to make them remember truck, uh, truck drivers. So it gives us joy to do that. It doesn't matter if you're 5, 15, 20, 25, we'll still do it. And currently you're sitting inside your truck right now. Yes, sir. And my student's in the back right now laying down. Damn. What makes you want to become a trucker? So I go out for about a month and a half to a month, and then I go home for like maybe one to three days. And then I do a yearly vacation in May for my wife's birthday for a week. To, and we go down to the beach, whichever wherever she wants to go. So I'm averaging about 330 days on the road and 35 days at home a year. How many hours do you drive a day? Like, how, how do you handle that? So with the Department of Transportation, they allow yeah. us 11 hours to drive and they allow us to have 14 hours every day to do everything. That includes driving. So our shift can range anywhere from 11 to 14 hours to however long. But we have to be parked after 14 hours, no matter what. 11 hours or 14 hours? I, I, I can't yes. do it. Just driving from Austin to Houston, like the three hour drive, I, I fall asleep sometimes. So like, how do you get to know about uh, Mobile Legends? Like, how do you start playing Mobile Legends? When I was uh, starting out trucking, the first person I saw on Facebook was uh, Ashtrail, I think is what his name. He was a high list main. And he was the one that had that big 40 inch or 42 inch screen TV right there next to him. And he would sit there and do the giveaways. And then I went from him <laughs> to Advent Legend. And then after Advent Legend, I found Sammy Zard. And then after Sammy Zard, I also found A1C Tank and Steph Wheezy on Facebook. So oh, my God. And then I started playing myself. Well, I'm starting to watch Hoon now. And I'm also starting to watch General as well. And then uh, Wheezy Tank. G, that's basically all I can really think of at the top of my head at the moment. There's still people like Shark that I want to watch because I'm a tanker and I would love to watch Shark or Shark play in stream. But yeah, yeah. last time I watched him, he was having trouble with Omelette. So he kind of <laughs> just went ghost. I, I guess like when do you play? Because you drive so much. Like I I personally don't know too many like um, uh, truckers myself, but I heard the stories, you know, and obviously from what you just told me, 11, 14 hours, like freaking over a month straight on the road, just driving. Like, so how, when do you actually play the game? Like, how do you find a balance between like drive and, and play? So I do the playing type whenever my students are driving. But the problem right. with that, though, is that when I'm crossing over different states, going through different cities, right. the uh, server and MS can be anywhere from like 50 to 110 and 150 or 115 MS right. to up to like 1500. Like I could be in the middle of nowhere, Kansas, and there's no way I can play. Um, <laughs> I try to sit here and get like one hour to two hours in whenever I can, whenever we're not driving. But right. when you're done, when you drive all day and all night, it's just kind of hard to do that. Who's your favorite hero right now in Mobile Legends? Uh, you got to go with uh, Boxia still. I've been Boxia? playing Boxia since I, I've been playing Boxia since Avid Legend because I learned everything from him because he was a Boxia main. And, okay, okay. Yeah, I got he got me interested in Boxia and I've gotten pretty good with him and I'm still trying to get used to him. But the problem is that the meta does not allow him to be right. So you can't play him like you used to be able to play him. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. I'm adjusting. Well, there people are playing Boxia jungle now, so you can you can just take out the red tree and then, you know, go jungle or, you know, some stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you you can, but uh, Carrie and B, or Beatrix uh, sits here and melts them. Yeah, he true. Doesn't have, there's nothing you can do with that. So I assume you like esports. Do you have a team that you play with, like a few trucker friends that you play game with? So what's going on? No, I haven't found any yet. Hopefully this will get them out there. But right. um, at the current moment, since I'm a tanker, since I'm a tanker main, I like yeah. enjoy this meta. So it's interesting to me. I tried Atlas the other day, but his nerf is kind of, it's made him a little, really squishy for early right. game. And the thing that I'm realizing is that because they're going tanker jungles, the tanks yeah, are yeah. always already at advantage in the jungle in the Absolutely. early game. So I tried to, I try to go for more better tanks, like the Grok is working very yeah, well now. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. 
he's early game, but then you got to make sure that whenever you're doing tank jungle or Bowman, you got to end the game early because then the MMs are fed and they got their items, and now it's becoming harder for you to finish it off. Right, absolutely, yeah. So you got to keep that in mind, too. Like how many tournaments have you followed, I guess? Like, are, are you following the current uh, tournaments going on, NSL and upcoming NACT? Yes, I've been following, or I've been watching all the tournaments since M3. I've actually been watching Indo and PH also yeah. over there, too. And then I'm watching NACT as well. Like, right. right now it's uh, Ackerman and the Valley. Yeah. My three, or the three teams that I was voting for was going to actually be the Valley, uh, Ackerman, and first and Team First Blood. Sheesh. Those are my three. Okay, wait, if you would, <laughs> if you would buy shirts, Right, like for one of the teams out of the three just mentioned, the Valley, TFB, as well as the Ackerman. Which one would you go with? Like one out of the all three. three. All three, because I'll put them on a one T-shirt. <laughs> just no pre no preference at all. You just like all of them, all three teams. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What do you think uh, NA's chances on going to M4? Like, do you think NA has what it takes to take the entire M4? They are strong. Um, the other thing, or there's uh, actually. Comparing it to what it was last year to yeah. now, it's it's a very good chance. Right. But the problem is, or the thing that I'm having a gut feeling about is that overseas, I think they're going to change the meta on NA yeah. <laughs> in the middle of M4, and it's going to kind of catch me by surprise. So, right. like, I want them to have, like, an open mind when they go to M4, yeah. being like, okay, we need to think of some weird picks and everything because that's exactly <laughs> what they're gonna do they're gonna put they're gonna have like these metas that are up their sleeves that we've not seen at all and they're just gonna sit here and take us by surprise that's just me. this is fantastic thank you so much for the entire interview one last thing so anything you want to say to your favorite player for your team everybody just have fun and enjoy the show and thank you guys for coming and watching uh cardi zia zane chicken tank wheezy all you guys i'll see you guys soon and then g i'll see you whenever you cast again boss that's about it. In the future, we might get to take a sneak peek of Nick's incredible truck. I got to see some pictures. I'm really excited. So if you, if obviously, if we get a chance to work with Nick in the future, we'll definitely share with our community. So again, thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. I'll see you on the battlefield. Let's go. All right. Thank you, boss.